So one of the interesting challenges of being a rabbi is that you bump into somebody in the market, particularly when you're kind of in a hurry to get home to make supper, and somebody says, by the way, Rabbi, you know, I don't really believe in God. Now, if I had the time at that particular moment, what I would want to say is, tell me about the God you don't believe in. And invariably, the God that they don't believe in is the God that I don't believe in, the God that's a kind of Santa Claus who rewards you when you're good and punishes you when you're bad. That's not the God of Jewish tradition as I understand it. That's a fairy tale God. That's Santa Claus. The God that I believe is part of Jewish tradition is the divinity that connects everything to every other thing. So when I say the Shema, what I am acknowledging is that I am part of a greater self of the universe, that my self is part of that larger self. And when I sit in that presence, when I experience that divinity, that is healing. I am connected to everything else, to everyone else. And every breath I take is part of the breath of the universe. So in response to your question, what does it mean to turn to that consciousness at a time of difficulty? It helps me understand that whatever is happening in my life, important as it is, is only part of a much larger picture. And as I understand that, I can come to make peace with what's happening, if that's what I need to do, or from that sense of connectedness to divinity and to other people who come together because we pray together, I get the strength and the ability to move forward in my life. So join us for a week of learning.